everybody, this is Nathan Zavalny from the Missoula Child Bloom Guitar Program and Missoula Guitar Academy. And I have a step-by-step -step lesson for you today on how to play an intermediate arrangement of the Pirates of the Caribbean main theme song, He's a Pirate. So I'll go through playing it full speed and then I'll break it down step-by-step -step and then give a performance a little slower to help absorb the details. If you enjoy this kind of a lesson, please do subscribe to the channel for more, and I appreciate any likes. Helps the channel out a lot. And enjoy. And here would be full speed. <laughs> step by step here through this piece of music, the Pirates of the Caribbean theme song. And there are some things just to keep in mind as you go through this. A lot of the measures are built around chord shapes. So if you're not familiar with the caged chord shapes, C, A, G, E, D, I highly recommend looking at that system, memorizing those patterns. In this piece of music, we'll be working around the A minor shape, E minor, C major, D minor, and F. Now, one thing to think about the F chord shape, just a little inside secret here, F major is really E major moved up a fret. So if you haven't studied how the open chords can turn into bar chords, that's a whole thing to explore. In this case, there'll be a couple of times where we've got to do a bar with the first finger, another time where it's just three fingers. So this begins, we're in six, eight times, so we're counting this rhythm. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. And right here, this occurs throughout the song. I'm using part of the A minor shape. So string four, fret two with finger two, string three, fret two with finger three. And the important thing with this is a number of these measures, I'll be holding those fingers. Finger one may come and go. Sometimes I need string two open. Sometimes it'll be string two fret one, but finger two and three keep coming back. So here's going uh, into the fifth measure of the song. It leads in with this. I leave my second finger down, add my third finger for this first chord. I leave those there. So that whole measure, I haven't moved these two other than putting finger three down. Next measure, I've got to do a little flip around, and this is part of an F major chord shape. So I need A, finger two on string three, fret two, F, finger three on string four, and our bass note, string six, fret one, F. I hold that for just a moment here. And uh, this is an example of where we need the bar chord. So I have the A with finger two, F with finger three, but I'm barring string two fret one. So the first chord that I play is string two, three, six. With that bar, I can let that go. I play my third finger with my thumb and then one, four. So I'm barring. I can leave the whole thing there. Or I can hop that finger. I think it's a little easier just to leave the bar there. That can be a little more challenging if you're not used to bar chords. And then I get to relax right here in measure seven where I'm just playing this open chord. But then I'm right back to that A minor shape just with finger two and three. I have the open chord. And again, I have to lift up my third finger, but I'll leave finger two there. And next measure, open, I add my third finger back. There's that string four fret two. Now I'll leave it there. Here I lift up my third finger, 
Now I'm to the F chord shape, but it's just string three, four, six. So finger two, three, finger one on six. I leave that there. Then I'll let it go. I'm flipping around to a C chord shape here. I don't need all the strings right away, but if I think of a full C chord, finger three, two, open, one, open. Here, I'll just have finger three and one. This finger is going to be ready, but I don't need it right away. I'm just going to hold that whole chord shape through that measure. And then again, I get to relax with this open chord and part of an E minor chord shape, just all open and right back to that A minor shape with finger two and three. And I hold that. And in those two measures, I start with finger two and three, I lift up three, but it goes right back. And again, I walk up the notes, lift up finger three, and I still hold this because right in the next measure, finger three goes right back down. Now, I'm going to shift here. This is a little bit of a tricky transition, but the easiest way to do it smoothly is I go finger two, three, and then I lay down my first finger into a bar. I'll let the rest of it go, and that sets me up for this next chord. I don't need a bar in this chord, but if I have lay my first finger across here, that gets my first finger ready for this bass note. So this chord is string two, finger four on fret three, finger two on fret two, string six, fret one. I'll let that first finger go, keeping finger four there. In fact, I'm going to keep finger four all the way through the next measure. Add finger one on string one. This is a D minor shape. I leave that there, add my second finger on string three, I'll let my first finger go. But again, that fourth finger has stayed there for two measures. And now right away I jump back to an A minor shape with finger two and three. I don't need finger one here. And I've got to do a little flip around. Here's that F shape again. Finger two on string three, three on string four, one on string six. And here the rhythm's a little different. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I've got a quarter note, eighth note, eighth note, quarter. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then I have an easy transition here, string one and five open. Right to my third finger on string three, because guess what? I'm back to that A shape. I have just a moment to get my second finger ready. And this time I need to go to my fourth finger on string two. I let that go. This is an E major shape. I don't need all the notes, just string two open, three one, string six. Now here I'm gonna do something a little different. Instead of putting my first finger on fret one, I'm, I'll leave finger one there on string three, add two on string two, fret one, three on string three, fret two, and then I'm right back to that first finger. So again, hold that there and now I'll let my first finger go I go to finger two on string five three on string four three open and I want to be ready because all I need to do on the repeat this is where we go back not to the top but to measure five all I have to do is hop finger two and three up one string from five and four to four and three so that last ending first ending that is That takes me back to the repeat sign. I go through that whole thing again next time around, second ending, um, quite easy. Here's measure 18. So it starts with this A shape, but adding finger four on string two, then second ending. I'm in the E major shape again, but all I need is finger one on string three. One, two, three, four, five, six. 